Hello and welcome. <laughs> in this uh, tutorial, and I know I haven't made videos in a long while, but because of stuff coming up, personal issues and whatnot, but now I have some free time so I can produce a video. Um, in this video, I will be showing you how to unpack SDC files. SDC files are secure download cabinets created by MSDN, the Microsoft Secure Digital Network, um, for distributing secure downloads of files. Now, usually if you are an MSDN um, member, you get the downloader which downloads the file for you and unpacks it. Now, if you either do a direct download and either forget to use the download manager, or now I'm not condoning piracy or illegal use of obtaining files, but if you obtain your SDC file somewhere other than the FTP file, sorry, if you um, obtain your file other uh, anywhere else other than the FTP server which MSDN um, uh, has, you may need a program <coughs> other than the secure downloader. What I'll be showing you is how to use Unpack SDC. Unpack SDC is a command line tool which unpacks SDC files. Today I'll be using for demonstration purposes my Windows XP 64-bit Surface Pack 2 SDC file. Now I've renamed it to a shorter file name so it's easier to put in. But now you go over to your start menu, type in CMD, and then you right click and do run as administrator. Now once we have that open, you can snap it to the side and we'll get to that later. Now what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to take, um, make a folder in our root directory. So now we get to computer, C drive, and now let's create a file and let's call it SDC unpacked files. There. So now we're going to take Unpack SDC, which when you download it, and I'll provide a download link, this is version 1.1, you get a zip file, and the zip file contains just unpack, but I've already unzipped it for easier um, use, so take SDC, the unpacked SDC file, and then you take, sorry, what I meant was, you take unpack SDC.exe, which I unpacked from an, a zip, and then you take your SDC file, which would be my XP one, and put it in there. Then we go over, and this is a little bit easier if you um, copy it. So you go over and let's do change directories to to see unpack. So now we're in that file, and now you go and if anyone's wondering why um, forward slash is showing up as yen, it's because I told it to. Um, display non-unicode characters as Japanese because with striped Japanese characters are not showing up because they're non-unicode. That's all. So now once we've navigated to the fo folder, we should type dir to make sure all our files are there. We have unpack sdc.exe and then we have xb.sdc. So now what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go and first to make sure um, it's working correctly, we type in and it will show you the command line also now it's showing that the file is um, functioning so now what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to do unpack sdc and the file name which is xp.sdc and then the output directory which will be Actually, which will already be here, so we can do a paste of there. Um, and then, because um, there's sometimes an error um, when checking the CRC key, um, we're going to actually skip the CRC check. Now, it's better to continue with it because it checks the integrity of the file but sometimes it hangs up and if you want a quick extraction of the file it's quicker if you skip that step. So we're going to do skip, skip CRC and then enter and you'll say unpacking 
And if you see over here, it's now created a folder it's called English Windows XP Professional 64-bit. So now as it's unpacking it, if we open it, you can see there's the ISO <clears throat> that's unpacking. And soon, and I'll maximize this, soon we're going to get a message to see where it says finished. Now it's finished, so we're going to hit exit. And then, just to make sure, now you can use a different program, but I like to use WinZip. And I'm going to do test archive. And it'll test the integrity of the archive, and it should come up with no errors. See, there are no errors. So now let's do close. Um, I'll close this window. I'll put a link for the unpack uh, file in the description. And um, if you have any questions or suggestions for videos to do next, leave them in the comments or in my inbox. If you have any trouble with this, then don't feel free. I mean, yeah, feel free to post a comment on the video asking for help. Um, this has been Zesty Panda with uh, another tutorial. Um, I'll be doing a review soon, but this is a quick tutorial to kind of tide you over. So that's about it.